Welcome to this episode of the Idea Plate. Today we're going to show you a side dish that we came up with last fall that is a sweet potato and apple hash. Uh, goes great with pork dishes. Uh, the weather did not cooperate, cooperate with us tonight. We were doing some grilled pork chops, but instead we've got those in the oven uh, cooking slowly. And I'm going to show you how to do this wonderful side dish. So the first thing we're going to start with is our sweet potatoes. These are seasoned with a little bit of chipotle powder, got a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna get these in the pan. These sweet potatoes are gonna take a little while to cook down, and once they start to soften, then we'll add in our onions and probably add in our rosemary. Then after that, we'll add in our apples. And I forgot to mention that we're also gonna deglaze this, plant, this pan with a little bit of, of hard apple cider. I will tell you a little bit about this recipe. Last fall, we were up in Blue Ridge in the North Georgia mountains with my wife and son and my parents, and we had a cabin up there. There's a great farm up there, Mercer Farms, that is a family-owned farm that has been up there for a number of years, more than 40, and you can go up there, pick apples, fresh produce. They have this huge store. So we were up there over the weekend, and we had some pork chops that we were doing on the grill and it was fall time and we went to the store, picked some apples, grabbed some Granny Smiths, grabbed some beautiful sweet potatoes, threw in an onion and then made this hash to go with the pork chops. It turned out really good. I've made it a few times since. A lot of times we like to do it on the grill. We do it on the side burner while we're grilling some pork. This would also be a great accompaniment for some pulled pork if you're doing some smoked barbecue. Okay, our sweet potato has been going for a few minutes here. Again, those are seasoned with a little bit of chipotle powder. We're starting to get a little brown on those. Let's add in our onions. Mm, this is starting to smell so good. Get our onions in here. And now, let's go ahead and... Sorry for the loud noise. I gotta keep doing that. Let's season this with a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper and some fresh rosemary. Oh man, this is smelling so good. Something about rosemary and sweet potatoes. So everything is smelling fantastic. Our onions are starting to soften and the sweet potatoes are starting to brown. So let's go ahead and add in our Granny Smith apples. After I cut these, I put a little bit of fresh lemon juice, a little bit of cinnamon on here, which will go well, pair nicely with the chipotle powder that we put on our sweet potatoes. All right, let's get our apples mixed in here. They won't take nearly as long to cook. And as some of the sugars in here start to caramelize, we're gonna deglaze it with a little bit of hard cider. Okay, our onions are about translucent and we've got some nice browning on the sweet potatoes. The Granny Smith apples are starting to cook down. Everything's starting to stick a little bit, so I think we're ready to deglaze with a little bit of hard cider. And this will also help that steam is going to help finish this off. It's going to cool the pan a little bit. It's going to break up some of those bits on the bottom. And as that alcohol cooks off, this flavor is going to steam into our sweet potatoes and help finish everything to perfection. Hopefully. All right. I'm going to let this finish steaming down. And then at the end, we will we'll add our bacon and our balsamic reduction. And we'll set the table, get our pork chops out of the oven, and show you how this finishes off. 
That is looking fantastic. This looks good. Let's throw on some bacon. Donald made his choice. Where? He's trying to go on the bottom side. Get this mixed in. I figured you'd go. This has turned out really, really nice. All right, this is done. Gonna just finish it with a little bit of balsamic reduction to help tie everything together the tart, the sweet. Let's get this plated up with our pork chops and we'll show you how everything looks. Got it. I'm filming you. Oh. What do you think? What do you taste? What do you what do you notice first? <laughs> Other than the dog going ballistic in the background. <laughs> bacon, apple, sweet potato, but I love the bacon because bacon's just bacon. Is it good? Uh-huh. What do you like best about it? I would say the bacon, but the bacon's always really good. So probably the the um, the the orange stuff. The sweet potatoes. Yeah. All right, success. There you have it. Let's see if we can calm this dog down. We'll finish our dinner and we'll see you next time on the idea plate. Too hard. Yeah, the dog feet. Hmm. Well, it appears that we've got. Um, some dog pee to clean up. That's gonna be great for the video. Thanks, Luke. Mom, the dog already peed inside. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. Mom, the dog already peed inside. Yeah. Karen's outside with the dog, trying to get him to pee. And Luke just found that he peed uh, over there. Table. Fantastic. As you can see. As you can see. I have no clue what we're doing, but I'm just pretty. This I'm is. I'm not stepping in that. That is disgusting. This is done.